Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Mock Motion Reviews. Today, we have the Tanks and Armored Fighting Vehicles Visual Encyclopedia. And as it says on the bottom, as you can see, more than 1,000 color illustrations, which is very nice. Um, you can see some of the examples here on the front, like some armored cars, um, APC if I'm correct, uh, and I think this is a modern tank. I'm not too sure, but if I bring it down, you can kind of see, not really, there's an American tank and there's a Tiger tank. Um, I'm gonna hold this up so I can show you guys. Uh, so it might be a little bit shaky. But on the inside, you can see there are some armored cars, tanks. Um, actually, these aren't armored cars. I think it might be on a page before. Um, yeah, it's back here. Mark, uh, Mark V, as you can see. World War One, armored cars. And then we'll jump over to World War II. I think this is, no, this might be after World War II, but no, this is World War II. Um, as you can see, M36, SU-85, and it shows all the details too, which would be very, which is very nice. As you can see down here, Soviet Union, crew of four, weight, stuff like that. Um, very useful, especially if you want to build a tank, Lego tank, something like that. Um, bunch of German tank, uh, SDKFCs. More over here. Surprised there aren't like 15 pages of STKFCs, but yeah, I think that's a Puma right there. I'm not sure though. Some other armored cars. So there are, as it said, over 1,000 um, colored illustrations of these tanks. So um, if you want a good book for inspiration and stuff. So you can make a tank or something, Lego tank, maybe a model, or you just want to know more about tanks. Definitely get this book. It is worth your money. I got this for $7 on Amazon. Um, as you can see, heavy tanks, modern tanks, the AMX-30. Um, I'll just read this up here. Until the mid-1950s, both France and Germany relied on American M47s or M47s for their armor. Though France also had a number of excellent German Panther tanks, a requirement was drawn up for a new main battle tank, lighter and more powerfully armed than the M47, to supply both countries. AMX-30, country of origin, France, and uh, yeah, very nice illustrations. There's a bunch of these. As you can see, more trucks, Czechoslovakia, United Kingdom, Czech Republic, so that's modern. Um, Tactical missile launchers, which I hadn't seen this yet. Um, looks very nice. I, yeah, as I said, have not seen these. But um, more um, big images of vehicles. There's also a top down one on the top, but I can't show you that because it's too far up. Um, more rocket and mine systems, stuff like that. Mine clearance system. So it's definitely worth seven or ten dollars around there. Uh, it, it's worth a lot more than this, but I got this just for this amount of money. Um, so I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, look at that. That is Italian. Um, I don't see many... Oh, South Korea. Just the South Korea. So yeah, as I said, I would t I would really recommend this uh, book if you can find it on Amazon. That's where I found it. And uh, yeah, as I said, around 7 to $10. If you can find this book anywhere for that amount of money, or maybe up to $20, it's still worth it, then buy it. It is extremely worth it. So, um, yeah. Tanks and Armored Fighting Vehicles, Visual Encyclopedia, more than a thousand color illustrations. Um, yeah. So, that's gonna be the end of the video. If you like, um, other, like, non-LEGO videos like these, um, put it in the comments. Um, and I can try to find more things like this that I can show you guys. So, if you liked the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you didn't, then just leave a comment saying what you didn't like about the video. And, uh, I can change that. If you want. If you don't want it, then that's fine. Um, makes it easier for me. So, uh, yeah. I will see you in the next video. Sadly, in this one, I can't flick it because it's a good book and not a Lego minifigure.